Jordan, this will be, I guess, your final homecoming of sorts. Uh, how do you feel about that? It's kind of bittersweet. It feels like I'm going into my senior game all over again, you know, kind of the last time playing in the Dome. Maybe the only kid in the big sky who enjoys playing in that facility, but I love it every time I go back. Well, I mean, you, you always tell me that the Dome's underrated. Why, why is it underrated? Underrated and underappreciated. It's, it's a great place. It's where legends are made. <laughs> I mean, as a kid, did you have, I mean, did you dream of playing for Idaho State? Or, I mean, I mean, I mean how did everything work out for you getting here to Montana State? The, the funny thing is if you go in my bedroom at home, there's an Idaho State football helmet sitting there because one uh, time for Christmas I asked Santa Claus if I could get an Idaho State Bengals helmet because we had season tickets, we sat there, and I mean, I would be heckling the opposite team. So it's kind of it's kind of weird when we go back there and play Idaho State, a team that, you know, you grow up watching and, you know, idolizing the players from. I mean, do you, do you think it brings the best out of you playing in front of, I guess, your family and, and your friends back home? I wouldn't necessarily say it brings the best out of you because I kind of prepare. I mean, each and every game I take is being very valuable, you know, so it's not like one game I, you know, put a little extra into it. You know, I kind of prepare each week the same. But, I mean, of course it's fun to, you know, go home and kind of have a homecoming of sorts. So it was bittersweet, a little bittersweet to see Idaho State really struggling for the past uh, seven years now? Yeah, I, it is. I mean, it's one of those – uh, they're my second favorite team, you know. Obviously, the Bobcats are my first, and the, but I always follow what they do, and you know, I'm always, you know, pulling for them because I know some guys on the team, you know, the coaching staff, and it's, I mean, it's been a team that I've followed, you know, throughout my life, so I obviously want them to have success. What about uh, heroes when you were a kid uh, that played for the Bengals that, that you remember? Oh, I, I remember they had a running back, Alfredo Anderson. He was, he was pretty big time running back. He's one that I sticks out in my head, and there was a. Defensive end that went to, he was from my mom's hometown that I always kind of idolized and stuff. But it was just a number of players, I mean, because we went to, I mean, years and years worth of games. Yeah. And, uh, you know, obviously you know a little bit about the dynamics of Idaho. How tough is it to get, I mean, PS, I mean, Idaho State on the map in a state where you have Boise State, University of Idaho as well? Yeah, I think it's, it's a tough pull because especially where Idaho State's located, because you can't really dip into Utah because you have Weber State plus all the Utah schools. Then you go over to Boise, and the, the best kids out of Boise get pulled to Boise State either. And a lot of times they get pulled on as walk-ons as well. So, I mean, you're kind of fighting. You can't, and you can't go into Montana, obviously, you know, because we kind of have a strength hold up, up here. So it definitely is a tough place to, you know, recruit to. How's that foot of yours? Feel, feeling good, man. It's feeling better and better every day. And I just kind of wear the boot, you know, for, you know, precautionary reasons, kind of get a little rest. But, I mean, made it through the game without, you know, any problems really. So... You don't feel like it injured you at all on Saturday? So. No, not at all. I mean, you could say it slowed me up a little bit, but nothing that would you know cause you any problems here or there and give me another week, and I'll, it's going to be feeling great by Saturday.